I see the need for it more and more. A welcoming place for everybody where they can um, look into various kinds of art and music without judgment. <laughs> I had the opportunity in the fifth grade in the public schools in Tacoma, Washington to take a stringed instrument. And I went home and told my mother and she said, oh, play the cello. She liked the cello. Sue talked about the feeling you get when, you, when she plays her music. Uh, I, I, I kind of had experienced the same thing when I, when I occasionally do a revival and play some rock myself. Growing up in uh, the Larson home, there were certainly a lot of music and instruments. Uh, my mother, of course, was a cellist and still is. Uh, my sister, my other sister was a cellist. My other older sister was a violinist and still is. Growing up in my household with music, my parents introduced me to music at a very young age. Um, we did some kind of even preschool music things together. I can remember my mom taking me to those. She uh, got me involved in the violin at about age four. It kind of encouraged me to look into education as a career option and especially teaching music. I think the public school is a great place to do that and to keep music alive in public schools as much as possible. told me uh, a month before I met Sue that I was going to play a, a lot of my time in the future in music, I, I, would, I would have laughed and said, I don't see how that's possible. Well, through, through a miraculous uh, meeting, it, it did turn out to be possible. Let's see. Oh, there you and I are. Must be before the wedding. Yeah. And uh, oh, here's a portrait of me beforehand with the sun streaming through my veil. Yeah, that's really a good one. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Sue and I met the first day of our freshman year at Stanford University. We had no idea where our paths were going to take us, but it uh, turns out that we both have a connection to uh, the community school for music and arts. My parents have been very involved in CSMA over the years. My mother, I know, a, a big... Uh, chunk of time she spent on fundraising for the new, the new buildings. And uh, I think that's where I first learned what an excellent salesperson she was. She was able to go and sell the vision and uh, sell that vision to other people and make it happen. And that was, uh, it's not something that's easy. It takes a lot of courage and it takes a lot of time and effort. I remember the architect, Mark Cavanero, who also did the San Francisco Jazz Center, I might add said that you are going to be transformed with this new building, and he was absolutely right. The evolution of CSMA from a um, multi-purpose room at Huff Elementary School to the Finn Center now, Sue and Bob were very involved uh, in making that possible by helping us expand our donor base and get donors that enabled us to build this world-class facility that has won architectural awards. It's good to know there are places like CSMA that support music at large and art at large to try to keep it in as many schools as possible. And I look at uh, people like my parents as, as modern-day patrons of the arts and uh, just like Way back in the day, the composers needed patrons to be able to write their music and perform it. We still need people like that today. I liked you then and I like you now. <laughs> and happy Valentine's Day. Mm, happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> we almost forgot about that. <laughs> For Susie and Bob to have helped to build this school to what it is today and to help secure its future, I think they've given a gift of immeasurable value to the community and I applaud them for that. Mom and Dad, I just want to say I love you, uh, I'm very proud of you and thank you for everything. Any, uh, any honor 
that you get is certainly well deserved. Just want to say thank you, Mom and Dad, for all your investment in music and in us. And may you have many wonderful years together, um, enjoying what you love to do and supporting the arts.